It's time for Modern Masters. You know, they're saying that Modern is in decline. But it'll be back. So let's get into this stuff and see how we do. Pack of Ultimate Masters to begin with. There we go. I almost did that one correctly. A Zambino. We got a Desperate Ritual in foil. And a Visions of Beyond. For one blue mana, you can draw a card. If a graveyard has 20 or more cards in it, draw three cards instead. There it is. First rare. Uncommon Fecundity, Iridescent Drake, and Penumbra Worm. There we go. Alright. Any good commons? Nothing really. So, throw these over here. Next up. Modern Masters 2015 with the tamper proof box pack zipper thing and a soldier token. And we got a Glint Hawk Idol and a formerly rare Scion of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of commons. Gut Shot might be okay. Mutagenic Growth. Demir Aqueduct. Lightning Bolt, good uncommon, whew, and a Surgical Extraction for the rare, very nice. So for one black Phyrexian mana, choose target card in a graveyard other than a basic land card. Search its owner's graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with the same name as that card and exile them. Then that player shuffles his or her library. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just scan, start scanning these up right now. There we go, ready to scan, Surgical Extraction. But being $17.99, so there's a good hit right there. Let's uh, let's do this the right way. Visions of Beyond, probably not much. Actually, a couple bucks. Different version, but I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. For my uncommons, I am gonna scan this lightning bolt and this mutagenic growth and maybe this gut shot. Let's see if it's maybe not quite enough. Different versions on all of these. I'm not going to really change them unless they're blatantly different. Like that one, $1.19. Fecundity. Ultimate Masters version, like 50 cents. So, all right. Let's move on. If I can. Get rid of these cards. Here we go. Modern Masters 2017. Spider. Horror. Guildgate, Spell Pierce, Bulgari, Germination, Seaside Citadel, Pyroclasm, and a Primal Command. That's the wrong command. For f uh, ooh, oh my gosh, well that's decent. Well, let's talk about this one first. A Foil Blood Moon, uh, non-basic lands or mountains. That's pretty stifling when you're playing against that, right? Enchantment for three. Well, let's see what that goes for right now. Get my scanner to see it. Yeah, so Blood Moon, different version. And in foil. 2309. There's another hit right there. Uh, this Primal Command. A couple bucks. Probably similar to the Lorwyn version. Let's see, what can you do with this one? For five, you can choose two, target player gains seven life, or put target non-creature permanent on top of its owner's library, or target player shovels his or her graveyard into his or her library, or search your library for a creature card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Casting cost is probably just too much for something like that. So that is why it's only two bucks. Moving on to Eternal Masters. Off to a good start here, I have to say. A couple of good hits. Innocent Blood. Rotters. Reckless Charge. Eye Blight's Ending. Shoreline Ranger. Ooh, Blood Braid Elf. Is a good uncommon. I'm gonna scan that one right now. Buck 95. Wall of Omens, I think, is actually pretty good too. Let's see. Yeah. Couple bucks there, different versions, similar. Prodigal Sorcerer is just a Timmy, right? 
Nothing big there. Call the Skybreaker and a foil shelter. So for seven, you can put a five five blue and red elemental creature token with flying onto the battlefield, and then you can retrace it. Nothing big there. Nope. Foil shelter. Okay. The original Modern Masters 2013. What do we got here? Latchkey Fairy. The Hammerheim Deadeye. Hmm. Tuco. Torn of Stone. A Stalactite. Some Weirding. Ooh, Lightning Helix. Very nice. We'll scan that. Uh, Buck 75. Similar. Uh, to the other version. Vivid Marsh, I think is coming up a bit. A couple bucks there. Pocker Sight, not gonna scan that one. Figure of Destiny, uh, it costs just one, a red or a white. One one Kithkin that you can kind of level up, right? You pay one to give it, uh, make it a two two. You pay three to make it a four four. You pay six to make it an eight eight with flying a first strike, so. Not, these, not too bad. And there's a foil desperate ritual. Very nice. So a buck for that one. The desperate ritual. Let's see what a foil modern masters would go for. 368. That works for me. Alright. Iconic masters. Ward, Trumpet Blast, Doom Traveler, gotta have those. Thief, Wall of Roots, Assault Formation, Blade Wings Thrall, Aether Eyes, and a Resto Angel. Very nice. I like this art on this one too. So it's a 3 4 for 4 with Flash, Flying Angel. When Restoration Angel enters the battlefield, immediately exile target non angel creature you control. Then return that card to the battlefield under your control. Very good. And a foil diminish. Restoration Angel is a couple bucks. Masters, 25. Got a dirge. Wow. Got the Seb McKinnon art there. Very nice. So recognizable. Could hang in a museum. Act of Treason, Savannah Alliance, cool art there. Dusk Legion, Giant Growth, Voker, Frenzied Goblin. Is this one that's so slightly higher than a regular common? Not really. Assembly Worker, Deadly Designs, Cloud Blazer, Quicksand, and Conflux. For a lot, what was that? Eight. Search your library for a white card, a blue card, a black card, a red card, and a green card. Reveal those cards and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your library and a foil exclude. Just a buck for that one. Counter target spell and draw a card. Let's see what that goes for as a foil. Get it to scan. Doesn't look like it's going to be much. Foil is 79 cents. Not too big. Last, we got a uh, Modern Horizons, which I know is not a master set. I don't want to hear it. I still like this set. We're opening it. Here we go. Shapeshifter. Cool art. Snow Covered Island. Ransack the Lab in foil. And a Sword of Truth and Justice. So these I don't think have really taken off, but it's cool nonetheless. Artifact equipment for three. The equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from white and blue. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, put a one one counter on a creature you control, then proliferate. Nothing wrong with proliferating, right? It has equipped too, so there you go. Sword of Truth and Justice. Ten bucks. Still not bad, right? So there's that. Got a Vesper Lark, a Ruination Rider, and a Baron Moor. And some commons. There's probably nothing much in there. Alright, there you have it. Opened up eight packs and got almost 80 bucks. So, that was fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below and catch you on the next one.